The BBC in London going direct to Raja Broadcasting Network. RJ 100 FM in Manila and throughout the Philippines. I'm Stuart McIntosh with the BBC News. Hello. Turkey's justice minister has said the authorities believe a woman carried out the explosion that killed at least six people in one of Istanbul's busiest shopping streets on Sunday. Bekir Bozdar said video footage showed her sitting on a bench with a carrier bag, which exploded after she walked away. Turkey's vice president, Fuat Oktay, said those responsible would be brought to justice. Whoever is behind these incidents, whoever they are, they will be caught not just within our borders, but also even if they go to the other end of the world. Just as we have caught other terrorists, they will be brought to Turkey, they will be brought to justice, and they will be held to account at all costs. The Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that investigators have uncovered more than 400 war crimes in areas of Kherson abandoned by Russian forces as they retreated. Mr Zelensky said the bodies of civilians and soldiers had been found. The BBC's Jeremy Bowen spent the day in the city of Kherson and said people there are lacking basic resources. In terms of what they haven't got, water is a big issue, lack of electricity, Lack of heating, that's a big issue. Lack of internet, that's a very big issue. One of the reasons the square was so packed with people in the center was because the army has set up a mobile internet hotspot there and people were queuing up for hours to get the password to be able to get onto the system. They've also put a blanket ban on everybody except the military leaving Hassan. President Joe Biden is due to meet the Chinese leader Xi Jinping in person later on Monday for the first time since taking office. They'll have talks on the Indonesian island of Bali ahead of the annual G20 summit of leaders from the world's major economies. Jonathan Head reports from Bali. This summit is Indonesia's big moment, an opportunity to showcase its quiet diplomacy. That's a lot harder today. Growing animosity between the US and China already threatens this region's trade-based prosperity. Tension over Taiwan and the war in Ukraine has made things worse. No one expects this last-minute meeting between Joe Biden and Xi Jinping to reset the relationship. The best hope is that it might stop it deteriorating into outright confrontation. Tens of thousands of people have taken to the streets in Mexico to protest against electoral reforms that have been proposed by President Andres Manuel López Obrador. He's accused the National Electoral Institute of pandering to elite interests and wants the public to select its leadership rather than Congress. Critics say the measures aim to consolidate the president's control. This is the World News from the BBC. The BBC World News, heard live nationwide on RJFM. The BBC and the Raja Broadcasting Network, media partners in news and public affairs. Broadcasting live from the heart of metropolitan Manila. Moving with you through the changing times. Bringing you your music. Connecting generations. This is RJFM. 96.5 in Tuguegarao. 91.1 in Baguio. 99.9 in Palawan. 99.9 in Bacolod. 98.3 in Iloilo. 88.7 in Iligan. 88.5 Cagayan de Oro. 100.3 in Cebu, Davao. And Metro Manila. And around the world on www.rjplanet.com. Live the soundtracks of your life through five decades of music. This is the Raja Broadcasting Network. RJ FM 100.3. RJ FM, the greatest and latest. Simply good music. Three songs in a row.